We have complete coverage tonight. I'm Candace Burns. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Even though analysts say this shortage is only expected to last a few days, drivers across our area are somehow still lining up to fill up. Our Shelby Brown spoke to some of them and an expert who is warning against panic buying. Shelby? Well, Bill and Candace, we're live here at the Village Exxon at 3 Chopped and Patterson, and they definitely are feeling the pinch of that pipeline disruption, just like other gas stations all across our area. Now, here they tell us they've run out of everything except for diesel fuel, and they said they were expecting a gas shipment at 5 p.m. That has now been delayed by five hours. Signs like these are popping up across town. Drivers keeping an eye on what a pipeline shutdown means for gas stations they depend on. I mean, it's a little scary that somebody can tap into our system and kind of cause this ripple effect. Mike Zacharias, a local contractor stopping to fill up his work truck, is forced to buy a different grade because the gas he normally uses is completely out. He calls his workers to tell them to find the nearest station and fill up. Being able to fill up the cars and the increase in gas costs. We're a small company with just a few trucks on the road, but we, you know, we feel the pinch every time that gas price goes up. Virginia reportedly has an estimated 7% of gas stations that were out of fuel as of Monday. Long lines could be spotted at stations around Richmond. It's just a disruption. Still, Dr. Jeff Smith, chair of VCU's Supply Chain Management Analytics Department, says there is no need for consumers to panic. He explains what worries him the most. The bigger point, and this is the scarier point, is it provides a, a real life example of the vulnerability of many aspects of our supply chains. And you see that, you know, in this case, you, you don't think about it from a physical material flow that a cyber hack or a cyber attack can be the reason why it shuts down, but that's the vulnerability now. While the company that operates the pipeline works to restore operations, Dr. Smith expects other companies to take heed and re-examine security protocols. I think you're going to see a lot of other infrastructure-based, supply-based, and I'm talking energy supply or base material supply that's, that's essential to our, our existence, more or less. You're going to see a lot more checks. And so the company that runs that Colonial Pipeline says that it is working towards substantially restoring operations by this weekend. We will, of course, continue to follow this story and bring you the latest.